It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC West. It's the Cards and the 49ers, next on Madden NFL 24. Well, the onset of fall weather, certainly a welcome occurrence for folks in Silicon Valley. And we've got football on a gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi Stadium. Today, we've got a solid matchup in store in the NFC as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you had to feel for the 49ers and their fans in last year's NFC Championship game, seeing the quarterbacks go down. But Brock Purdy, after the elbow surgery, back to take over once again. And an even more confident Brock Purdy. Remember how he took over last year and they got on that great run? Now, he'll be much more in command of the offense, understand it fully, and knows exactly who to get the ball to in order to produce points for this 49ers team. And for the visiting Cardinals, you know, this is a team in flux a little bit. J.J. Watt retired. There's a new coaching staff in place. They've got some work to do to turn around what was a 4-13 campaign in 2022. I remember this franchise won 11 games in 2021, but everything's new now. Head coach, the way they're going to run things on offense, style of play on defense, but sometimes that change can be really good. The kicker, Jake Moody, has got it teed up, and we are underway now from Santa Clara. On the return, Rondale Moore will bring it out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their six foot four QB from the University of Tennessee. It's Joshua Dobbs. This guy's leadership is so important to how this offense functions. He doesn't shrink from any moments on game day and everything he does, he does with confidence. He sets the example in practice off the field and is the guy leading everyone out for each possession. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll only be a loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. Didn't have the greatest field position to start, did they? And now after this sack, it's way, way worse. And right off the bat, first play of the game. Dobbs. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Here's Dobbs to throw. turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. On first and ten, Dobbs. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now a second and ten. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. is throwing. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 26. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. 
And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. On first down, downs to throw. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Back to throw Dobbs. Wilson snags at left side. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. If he decided to run a hitch route, it really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. Here's Dobbs to throw. That's complete right around the eight. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. And forget about the run that set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Throwing here, Dobbs. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, only their first drive, Charles, but they talked to us about needing to convert on third down, in particular, not letting third and short opportunities slip through their fingers. Well, they were successful right there. It also tells you that they're successful on first and second down as well to get to third and manageable and make them able to pick up those first downs. Now here we are, first and goal. They've got to like what they're doing on this drive. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that little partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. Connor is in. Touchdown, Arizona. You think about James Conner down near the goal line, and you think about the 2021 season with his 15 touchdown runs. He believes he's as good as anybody down close, and he powers his way in here. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Ray Ray McLeod to return. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. The Niners offense set to go to work and it's last year's revelation, Brock Purdy who leads them out in season number two from Iowa State. There weren't many bigger stories last season than Purdy who's officially the most famous Mr. Relevant of all time. Won each of his first five starts and almost guided his team to a Super Bowl. He's really forced the team to reevaluate his plans at quarterback because he looks like the real deal. Purdy gonna lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Here's the Pro Bowler, Christian McCaffrey. 
And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They tried to run the counter, just that the defense wasn't fooled. And when they're not fooled, you see the end result, because what you're doing there, you mentioned the counter. You're using your offensive linemen sometimes to pull or move, to influence the defensive front, to go in that direction and create the space back in the other side and block it appropriately. But you're exactly right. Didn't move him, except they were waiting for him and made the play. 15 for the Niners there to first down. rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now on first down, it's Purdy. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Here comes third down and seven. Now Purdy. And that is incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time they were up to the challenge. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Here's more on the return. A nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. The drive will start with Connor. Across midfield down to the 45. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. Right back to Connor here on first. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Here's second and 10. Now Dobbs. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Now Dobbs. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright. And this will remain a one touchdown game trying to build on that opening drive touchdown, but the drive stalls out. And then you get the missed 
field goal here, so they wind up with nothing to show from drive number two. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. Purdy to throw it on first down. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there is no way that ball was going to be caught. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Shotgun now with Purdy. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. And look at this. It's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the GOAT. Here, they're going to be the GOAT. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just to call it. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They've got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Yeah, they were in field goal range last time out but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. He's got the connection to Moore. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Love the effort. Love the dramatics. Getting the feet down. How about a little step shuffle along the sideline there? Almost like a great ballet dancer or a tap dancer. All for no game, though? I was going to say, it's so pretty, <laughs> and it gets you nothing. <laughs> on second down, Connor looking for space. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. I really like what he did there because he took his practice work and converted it to game action because he used his hands, got off the block, worked laterally and stayed to the outside, and finished off the runner for a loss. To throw his Dobbs. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. It was Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. The lengthy Armstead made a great play there, and he's making up for lost time after he battled injury last season. Getting him back makes an elite group of pass rushers downright scary. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. McLeod to return it. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Niners will go on offense first and 10. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. going to lead the 49ers to the line first and 10 right at the 30 off the play fake he'll look to throw and it's incomplete boy he doesn't drop many like that one second down and he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often indeed because that's a bit of a surprise i know he's in the middle of some traffic and people bodies all around him but he usually has the focus to haul that one in 
So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. This is Samuel. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Back to throw, Purdy. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Haven't met a corner that's worth this all yet that ever admits to worrying about man coverage. How about the play there, breaking that pass up? Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. Forty-four on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. They start with a give to Connor. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and a couple. On play action, it's Dobbs. That's complete to McBride. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, rep. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And they'll take over here following the interception with a chance to tie the ball game. It's first and 10. There's Purdy on first and 10. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught, 11 on the field, those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. The Niners on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and 15. Purdy now to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. And 
his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. out there now to send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. That's into the hands of Pascal. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Connor up the middle. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Dre Greenlaw in there on the tackle. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and nine. Here's Dobbs to throw. To the right side and he's got more complete get this one across the 45 before he's brought down and we're going to stop play here at least momentarily it looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort the medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Dobbs is throwing. It's brought in by Wilson. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one goes for 30 yards. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. On first and 10 is Connor. He'll get this down to the 21 just on the edge of the red zone. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Connor. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Fourth down now as San Fran's 
defense was strong in coverage. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force it both down. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. Now bottled up fumble. It's out. It's loose. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But clearly that was a design play. I just don't know that it was the right design. Hey, you're older to have him pick it up and kind of be the power guy try to run through the middle. Everything has to go right for that to work. You mean you weren't relying on just great blocking to get him through? You kind of think maybe he can help make his own way if he's an actual running back yeah. instead of the holder? Yeah, I thought the same thing. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 16. He'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Here's a second and five. Purdy. Open man is Jawan Jennings. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Here's a second and eight. Up the gut, McCaffrey. Oh, look at the juke. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. Partner, how he managed to get positive yardage out of that run, I have no idea. But a little juke and a little moving. Got it done. Got him two yards. This offense so far on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and six. Here's Purdy. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards there and a Niner first. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. The throwing here, Purdy. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Out of the gun, Purdy. Steps away to his left. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Now Purdy. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. They go play action here. Purdy. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. 
So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Fourth down try. Here's Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Niners first down. No problem there. They get the first by plenty on fourth and inches. But well, a field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. Purdy will look to throw again here. This is Jennings. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Purdy will set up to throw it here. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. Shotgun now with Purdy. That is caught by the tight end Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. You got to figure it out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Jake Moody now for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second down and six. Now Dobbs. Throws this one right side to Pascal. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. They'll try and run for it with Connor. Pushes him aside at the 45. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good pickup by Connor. Such an easy player to root for. And in 2022, he really meant a great deal to the Cardinals offense with almost 800 yards rushing. His veteran presence, invaluable as they went through a bunch of changes on offense. 
Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. On first down, Dobbs to throw. Screen pass to Connor. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. On first and 10, Dobbs. He'll dump this one off to Connor. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now Dobbs. And Wilson with it, complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw, maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Throwing here, Dobbs. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll make it second down. Back to throw Dobbs. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. So on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here. This from 32 yards away. Raiders kick is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never gotten a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And the Niners ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Purdy to throw it on first down. This one caught by Kittle. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Purdy from the gun. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. Defense. 
So a P.I. call going to cost him there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Back to throw, Purdy. Open man is Samuel, complete. Now the Niners going to single for their third and final timeout as it will come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Now second and three. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Purdy looking to throw. Four ticks left here on the clock. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good, but when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there, that's winning football. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Final play of the half, Purdy. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we have reached halftime here at a good one. 10-10 is our score. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, We thought thanks. this one yeah, would be a close battle coming in, and changes, we have not been disappointed. Been They're all even to this, to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard here's McLeod from his end zone and tackled at the 21 yard line so a net negative there of four yards here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game, and let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. The throwing here, Purdy. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Now Purdy. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. 
So the completion gets him just a yard. And that'll bring up fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Returning it is Moore. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. Now this game it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 74 yards rushing now for Connor and a first down. It may sound cliche, but those are the types of yards he can get you. He's such a bruising back. He is, and typically with that type of a back, if he has any type of stamina, it shows up later in the ball game because trust me guys get tired of running up and trying to tackle that big fella it wears on him and then he gets stronger as the game goes on Dobbs looking to throw on first down that's complete to his running back Connor and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Dobbs to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and 10. They run behind center with Connor, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. Dobbs. He's going deep for Brown. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. And he missed it. It's no good. And we will remain tied here in this third quarter. So it's his second miss of the game. They both hurt. This one especially so. Yeah, you've got a chance to give your guys a second-half lead, and they're counting on you to put them in front. And I tell you, there's no one more disappointed than he is that he let his guys down. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Well, now they'll start three yards shy of midfield after that long 57-yard miss. Not first down, Purdy. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he'll get it down here to the 43. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there, and now it's third down and inches. 
could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Purdy. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man to play. And he is going to have the 49ers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you could actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drip back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now a give, right side McCaffrey. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 13 yards there and a Niner first. That's the type of impact play you expect from McCaffrey, the comeback player of the year runner-up in 2022. Despite a midseason trade, put up almost 1,900 all-purpose yards and also made his second Pro Bowl. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Now second and nine. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey, 14 yards. And the 49ers have moved out in front. The touchdown was scored by the runner. But the offensive line, they feel like it's theirs. They blocked that one up perfectly. Allowed him easy access to the end zone. Now Moody for the PAT. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So this drive spans seven plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Dobbs is throwing. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field, pick up the first down. Play action, it's Dobbs. And that is incomplete. I would dare say that these guys would like to have given their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But the last one, man, 
That's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Here's McLeod on the return. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now Samuel. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. Purdy now to throw off the play action. That ball caught, Brandon Ayu. And down inside the 15 he goes. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. The coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. That's a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. McCaffrey is in. Touchdown, 49ers. Well, we talk a lot about Christian McCaffrey and what he can do in the open field, and it's easy to gloss over how tough he can be to stop near the goal line. And he shows you just how tough he is on that carry as he takes it into the end zone. An extra point try now for Moody. And the lead is up to 14. So that drive spanned five plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. Moody back out there now to send this one away. Set to return it. Here's more. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. First and ten, Dobbs. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Javon Hargrave, the D-tackle, getting the sack. An excellent play by Hargrave, who was a pro in 2021 and was even better in 2022. Had his best year as a pass rusher with 11 sacks and was rewarded with a massive free agent contract. Oh, 
after the sack. It's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. On the handoff, Connor, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw, and that is incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively, and you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. On his horse! catch it and we just saw him complete a big time play for a touchdown moody good with the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And no run back here for more. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They start the drive with Connor. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Second and 10 here as we roll along in quarter number three from Santa Clara. Again, a run with Connor. Able to push his way through. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That good for 19 and a first down. A good chunk of those yards came after contact, and that's an area where he's really starting to excel as a running back. It felt like he was doing a drill that running backs have to perform all the time, especially in pads, called a gauntlet drill. Two guys, you know, people with this, these two rows, you have to go right through the middle of them and make sure you take care of the football and knock people aside. He's performing the drill on that run. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. From the gun, a give to Connor. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. 
every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that, and that really chips away at your confidence. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Dobbs. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 31-yard line. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Throwing here, Dobbs. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. And this is Ertz with it, right side. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. They'll run here with Connor. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Now Dobbs. He's got Slame here, his tight end outright. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Now this likely a must-have, third and goal. Here's Dobbs to throw. That's to the pylon and incomplete. So now fourth and goal, you're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. They can't hook up on fourth and goal from the four. And this 49er defense stands tall down near the goal line. They kept it in the air on fourth, Charles. They ran on first and second down, tried it through the air on third and fourth. Couldn't come away with anything on fourth and goal. And remember, in these situations, the field is really condensed. Everything is squeezed tight. So as a defender, you can actually take more chances here because they won't have as much time to throw the football, and a receiver really can't run past you. If they do, they run out of the back of the end zone. Nice job by the D, shutting them down. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Showing off the quick feet that time and getting forward for a pickup of three yards. Second and seven. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he's gonna be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, and it's gonna bring up a third down. No gain on the play. Brings up third down and seven. Yes, 
Here's Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. And now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15 first and 10. This is McCaffrey on the give. Zayvon Collins there to make the play defensively. They work now on second and nine. McCaffrey running up the middle. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. Here is third and five. This is Samuel. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there. Fourth and three. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And taken right at the 35. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Okay, ready. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. To throw is Dobbs. Screen pass to Connor. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. He's had success running the football, and this is more or less an extension of that because they drop it off to him on the screen. And I'll bet he's thinking to himself, if I didn't have to slow up a bit here in traffic, I could have really made something out of that one. This second and four. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. Out of the gun, Dobbs. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play but he could not pull it in. And this is a situation where as a head coach, you're just saying, what else could go wrong? Let's get it all out of our system, please. This has been a sloppy game throughout. The execution has been lacking. A lot of mistakes, both mental and physical. And here's a big play that goes by the wayside. And now this is gonna depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. But being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? <laughs> a little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. 53 yards rushing for him now to this point. Second down and four. Get out of here. 
Here's Samuel. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. the gut McCaffrey and a short gain down to about the 33 it'll be a pickup of a couple and it leaves him with a third and three just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair so it's 49er football here as we get you reset. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. But with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that will extend their lead even further. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. And Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target. And the blocking was perfect. And he executed so, so well. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. On first down, Dobbs to throw. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Back to throw Dobbs. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. First by him near the 35. And Connor going to pick up a Cardinals first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. 
That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Dobbs to throw. And his throw is incomplete. I think he's a little trigger happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. But we know he has confidence. He'll throw at any place, anytime, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Dobbs. He's got his target. That's complete. Now the card's going to call another timeout. Their second as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Looked like a possible miscommunication there because that's a curl route, and he ends up throwing it high. Somehow they just didn't have the timing or understand what each one was doing. Now a second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Back to throw again. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. The decision made for him. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the 49ers are going to get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Time, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And yeah, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.